daddies and welcome to 12 days of vlogmas shop real rose y'all this dress is from real rose you'll get it just in time for christmas because i ship everything out the day i get the orders okay i don't play that i don't play that i don't play that good morning my baby daddies so today i'm editing the last two vlogs right because i posted 22 yesterday and now i need to post vlog three and four of vlogmas but i woke up to four thousand subscribers on youtube look it's exactly four thousand four thousand subscribers y'all you might be like bitch why are you excited about four thousand subscribers when you got like ninety some thousand on a whole diff a different channel because that other channel those subscribers are so pointless to me why they don't give a fuck about me <laughs> they don't care about me like they ain't checking for me. They ain't trying to watch my videos. None of that shit. Like, I feel like this channel is very personal. It's like you get to see the inside of my life. And like, you know, and only people that follow this channel or subscribe to this channel actually want to see what's going on in my life. So I thought that was really cool. Hit 4,000 today. Okay, Google. How many days until Christmas? Christmas Day will be in eight days. Eight days until Christmas. That's crazy. And anyways, I was texting my friends this morning, trying to figure out who's coming and, you know, trying to figure everything out because, as you heard, eight days until Christmas. Less, it's about to be a week. And then my friend Carla was like, oh, it's going to be in Vegas? I didn't know it was going to be in Vegas. I'm like, what are you talking about? I was like, are you coming for Christmas? What did you think I said or I meant coming to? You thought I meant coming to LA? Like, I don't get it. Where do you, where do you think I lived? <laughs> and she's like, no, honestly, I didn't know. And I'm just like, okay, so what's up? Are you coming or not? Because Helen already said she's not coming. No, Ye said she can't get enough days off, but she's going to let me know. So she's not coming. <laughs> I already know how that goes. Lillian was saying that she wanted to carpool with Carla um, because she's not sure if her car's going to make it up here. And... Carla's saying she can't make it. So now I'm like, okay, so nobody's coming. Cool. <laughs> okay. Christmas by myself. I think I'm just going to make the stockings. If nobody's coming, I'm going to make the stockings and I'm going to mail them out. I'm going to send them to people. Fuck it. I don't know. I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do about it at this point? Yeah, we're going to get to the bottom of that. This morning, someone knocked on, um, just a couple minutes ago, somebody knocked on my door and it was the postman. And I got another package from Fashion Nova. It was a smaller package though, so I don't know what it could possibly be. When I order, I order a lot, you know? So, smaller than the box that they sent me at first. But let's see what they got in here. Oh, I like this dress. Two, three, four. We are so sorry. Hi, Nova fam. We know your order arrived later than anticipated, and we want to thank you for so much for your patience and loyalty. Next one is on us. Receive free shipping and 30% off your next order. Oh, that's how you apologize. Okay. They sent me six pieces. Um, probably to make up for the pieces that didn't fit me in my last order. Because so I was like, some of them don't fit me. I hope if you're okay with that, I'll post the vlog. And she was like, just pick some more things. We'll send it to you. So... That's what happened. I picked a lot more things than six, but they never sent me everything I want. <laughs> they never sent me everything. I'm gonna edit this vlog. It's 1.30 right now, so, um, and I have to be at the gym by 2.30, so I'm gonna try and get both vlogs edited, and then I'm gonna export them both on the way out the door. Got a violation on my car. So, I'm going into the office because who the fuck put that shit on my shit? It's like, oh, you're in a, um, you don't have a permit for your parking spot. And it's like, bitch, when the fuck did that start? Tell me why this truck was like ready to start an accident on the highway. Like, this nigga just would not let That's me right. over. No. I mean, mugged him and flipped him off. Oh, you're so cool. Hell yeah. Fucking creep. But so he must have cool. been fucking like a Texas driver or something. I hate that. Like, I hate that happened to me one time. I was coming to your house. Like, there was like an accident or something. 
And so people were being nosy. And I was like, you know, fuck this. I'm gonna get on the side and I'm gonna just drive so I can, you know, that, ex that exit ramp. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm just gonna get on the side. So people started doing that. When I was thinking about it, I was like, fuck it, I'm about to follow them. So I got on the side and I started driving and a motherfucker, um, a truck saw me coming and got in, the, like literally just got in the middle so I couldn't pass him. It's not like he left his lane. He just literally was in the in both lanes. Like you're not about to pass. That's so fucking annoying. Oh, no, I almost this <laughs> this this shit was like almost like two or three weeks I ago. I wanted to shoot him. Like, uh, this one was like a bit like if I saw him get out of his car, we're fighting type shit. Fuck this thing. But um, you so, was not about to fight nobody. Yeah, yeah, I was going. I, well, bro, when road rage come, I'm fighting. But uh, no, no, don't do that because niggas be carrying guns. This is shit, a carry. Like this is a concealed, a concealed carry state. Truly, you know that? He is white. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> but either way, this motherfucker. So first of all, he cut me off. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I bet there's enough time for me to be able to cut your ass off again. <laughs> So I make sure <laughs> I make sure I drive past this motherfucker, like you know, because he's in the far left lane. So then mm -hmm. I make sure I'm in the middle lane. I was like, I don't even need to be in that lane, but I'm gonna make sure to go in that lane to cut him off real quick. So I go in Heady. front. Of, <laughs> so I go in front of him, cut a, cut his ass off. This motherfucker literally almost caused an accident trying to like make me get in the middle lane or do something else just to not be in that lane. And he had to honk his, he had to maneuver get out of the way while, <laughs> while, I, while I just scooted all the way to the ramp to get to the uh, to the gym anyway. So and then like <laughs> I see the car, I see the car like behind me. You know how you can see people in the rearview mirror and other guys like, what the fuck? And I'm just like, I'm petty. I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm petty. Nah, That's what I she was want. like. You ain't gonna cut me off. That's so stupid. That's how you cause accidents. Hey man. It's like I don't cut people off for nothing. You I know? Cut them off or if someone cuts me off, fine. You beat me to it. That's you were able to cut me off, fine. No, not the way he did it. He did it. There's a difference between speeding up and going in front of someone and literally just disrespect cutting you off. I don't know, because I be yeah, I disrespect cutting people be... off, but that's just because if you're driving slow and I'm able to pass you up, I got in front of you. Now, if you want to start this battle and you want to get up, get out from behind me to get back in front of me, it's so stupid because it's like, you should have been driving that fast to begin with. See, I was... If you was driving that fast to begin with, I wouldn't have been able to cut you off, right? <laughs> exactly. So do it. Do it because I can't wait for somebody to hit this Prius. Yeah, I was I'm trying to get rid of this shit. Hit me. <laughs> but anyways, we about to go inside do a jam. Oh, did you look up free leg workout? I definitely forgot. Definitely not doing that. Forgot it was a Monday. Legs? Fuck that. Like okay, I showed you guys what we did at the beginning of our legs last time, so I'll show you what we do weight wise this time. That makes sense. Sunlight. He be doing the most, trying to show his legs and shit. <laughs> Letting that ass eat the grass. Say something. Eat that grass with that booty hole, boy. <laughs> how his legs are pretty far apart and then his feet are angled a little bit he's kind of leaning on the bar he's not standing up straight and then when he goes down he's supposed to be bending his back but he has a little bit of posture issues but other than that very good squat very good form Can you go? 
how low can you go? Huh? This is why he growing a booty. Chris didn't used to have no ass, but now he has a little cake. <laughs> As for right now, I only do one set of lunges. We got 25 on each side. And the bar is 45 pounds, so yeah. Yeah, 10 times on each leg. I'm only gonna do it once. Sometimes Chris does it twice. Oh yeah, it's all you, man. <laughs> For this one, we do this machine and that machine simultaneously. We do four sets. I think I got closer because I got to get We do four sets on each hip abduction machine. And we do 20 reps. Slowly. So I'm going to show you guys how slow we do it. Alright, we're pretty, we're pretty heavy. So we do about 250 on each one. I do a little bit more than Chris on this one, but that's because he don't got no ass. <laughs> but anyway, the first 10 I do regular like this, and then the second 10 I hold this and I put my butt up on the back. gonna show you how to do this one. What you got? 250? Look at his arms though, this nigga big. Low key. <laughs> nice and slow. You can hold the bars for support. making it look easy but at this point you're dying on the inside when you get to about 15 you like fuck yep there it goes told you <laughs> and you guys y'all need to be in the gym for real look all these people aren't stupid they ain't here for something they ain't here for a reason you feel me i'll figure it out Zoom in on the. There we go.
This is why Chris got a booty. He's starting to build a little booty. You see that? A little booty coming in? Yeah. I got him doing the butt exercises with me. sprouts right now. I just want to get some chaser for my wine and maybe even another bottle of wine that I like that they have here. Hi. Something great. If you guys are trying to get a wine that's going to get you tipsy, it's called, I said it has a name, it says it has a name that has a brick on it and the bottle has bricks on it so you can remember when you're looking for it. It's called Clinker Brick. The percentage on this bad boy is like 15, you know, 15.4. You don't find a lot of wines. You barely find any wines with that percentage. And then I like to get my, um, my chaser, my wine chaser. It's another wine that's really sweet. But I ain't seeing it here, which is low-key pissing me off because I can't drink that strong-ass wine with no chaser. And then I also got my cherry tomatoes, which I forgot to get yesterday, so my grocery list is finished. <laughs> this is the wine I'm talking about. I'm gonna make them bring me more. But this is the one I used to chase my wine with. There's only one left. It's only like six bucks for this. I think these are 16 each. So it's a little pricey, but <laughs> it's good. I didn't get my got to be glued yesterday, so I'm at Target right now. Looking for got to be glued. It should stand out, right? Big old yellow bottle. This Target fully stopped. I'm trying to hold my camera more steady because people are like, oh, you're a bad cameraman. Oh. Found it. Get five dollar, free five dollar Target gift card when you buy four. Hmm. Mm. All right, I guess. 
Give my five dollar gift card again. So I bought four got to be glue products and they gave me a five dollar gift card. I'm sure I could have mixed and match with other things too, but I'm not in the mood to be playing around with them inside that store. So in and out, less than five minutes. I bought these salads yesterday, so I'm about to kill one of these salads. I'm not gonna just have it in there and not eat it, you know? Cause I definitely was trying to eat something else, for sure. Definitely, for sure, was trying to eat something else. But I'm happy I came home <laughs> to enjoy my salad. So it comes with chicken, cheese, bacon, and an egg. And then it has some tomatoes inside of it. A dressing, I'm not sure what type of dressing it is, but it what it look like. So I'm about to kill this. I'm gonna make myself some bread because y'all know that's my secret desire. I need bread and I need bread, but y'all know I bought some bread yesterday too, so I'm about to um, handle that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw some of this on that. This is the worst part of the salad, obviously. We got bacon, cheese, we got egg, we got chicken. But the worst part of the salad is the dressing. And I know what I used to do was I'd put the dressing that comes with it and then go put more. But I'm gonna try and be good. And low key, that was a good serving. That was a good like amount of dressing they put in there for me. So I'm gonna be grateful for that. Let me get my bread. I turned my phone off because around this time is when all my friends start calling me and you know, just trying to talk and tell me about their day and shit. But I got things to do. <laughs> this is the time where I work, so. I'm like, um, I'm definitely, I didn't know what to do because I like, I delete Instagram sometimes so that people can't get a hold of me, but then they'll call me on my phone. Sometimes I delete Facebook. Sometimes I delete Snapchat. I think the best bet for me, which is this is the first time I'm trying it, is just turning my phone off until I'm done editing and then I'll turn it back on and then we can talk, y'all. I called you, oops, didn't see it, my phone was off. I wanna take a bath, I wanna sit inside of a hot ass bath and just, Mm, touch myself and you know feel sexy and shit. I'm just kidding. First of all, second of all, who cares if I wasn't? <laughs> okay. I don't like sitting in the tub until I clean it. Like I use like I don't use bleach because I don't want no bleach up inside. You know the happy place. But I like to really get in there and put my back into it and clean it. I finished my period probably like four days ago. Normally the day after I finish my period. I take one of these baths, but I've been doing a lot since then, so I haven't been able to take my bath. So I'm taking my shit tonight, and I don't care who hit me at, I don't care. So that like, oh, we got 10 tables, bitch, and you the only person we inviting. I ain't leaving my house. I need to clean the fuck up. My house is a freaking pigsty. That I'm so full, I'm so satisfied. Oh, and I got my wine. This is gonna be the best motherfucking bath ever ever i got my wine too y'all oh my god y'all why do people be doing that when they mad they be like what does that mean i don't know i just be doing that because i see other people do it Ooh, empty bottles well they're not all the way empty but what is that what do i need them for this one is all the way empty no it's not oh my god see my african i, I can use a little bit of this i think it's like two more pumps in here <laughs> This is full. This has enough. This is empty. Has this been used? Looks like it. Oh well. You're not worth it. Oh, that's empty too. See, just keep it empty, shut the shit inside your tub. If you like me, you gonna scrub your feet, you gonna cut your toenails, you gonna take off your toenail polish, all of that while you inside the tub, okay? Like I said, I have my little pamper day once a month, once a month, yeah, once a month. So here it is, I'm about to clean my tub because if you putting your pussy inside of a dirty tub, you a dirty bitch, okay? Don't do that. What I like to use to clean my tub, my countertop is called Awesome. I get it from the 99 cent store. I've been using this since I was a child. This and soap, which is the pink soap, it gets any stains out you should not be having as an adult period blood stains on your panties because there's pink soap to take that out, okay? Anyways, <clears throat> I use this to, I use this to clean the tub along with two other things. This and this, and I think I got both of these from the 99 cent store as well, I'm not sure. But one of these smells really good, I think it's this one. 
I said it doesn't have bleach in it. This one says with bleach. <laughs> Does the other one have bleach? So maybe this is the one that gets it so clean because I don't know. I be spraying them both at the same time. Like, <laughs> so I be like, one of these motherfuckers get this shit clean as hell, but it must be the bleach. Oh well, I thought I wasn't putting my pussy in bleach, but I guess I am. This is the Zote, the pink soap I was talking about because you guys always tell me how I mention things but don't show y'all. If you have period blood, if you have baby vomit, milk, whatever it is, wine, try the Zoat. If the Zoat doesn't work, then you're out of luck. Nothing else will get it out. Anyways, I use a regular like dishwashing sponge um, because that allows you to, you know, really take out the dirt. Maybe I should play some music. I turned my phone off. Let me go turn it back on. My video export in. I'm doing good. That's how you know I turned my phone off. Look at everybody going me up. Leave me alone. I'm still gone. anymore because it looks like it's black. The inside isn't black, just a spray nozzle. Oh, that's crazy because I switched the nozzles. That's why. This is the one that smells really good. <laughs> See all that dirt washing away? Pussy dirt. Y'all better wash your tub before you sit in me. <clears throat> I need to get some more of this. This smells so good. I just put some water in it because there wasn't a lot left. Or my bubbles. But I want my bubbles still though. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Perfect temperature. Everything. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all what I put in here. <clears throat> I'm definitely getting sick, so I went ahead and put a straw in the NyQuil because you got me fucked up. If you think I'm finna get sick right now, ain't nobody got time for that. It's non-drowsy. <clears throat> Before you guys get worried, <clears throat> I ain't gonna get drunk off of that. But I just had a sneeze. I just sneeze, and there's just one sneeze that I always get before I catch a cold. And it's like, it's a hard sneeze, and then it makes my head hurt. And it's literally my body telling me like, bitch, you about to be sick <laughs> if you don't do something right now, so. I was looking for something to drink or to eat or like, cause normally I'll just eat like a whole orange or two. I had no oranges, so I just went ahead and put a straw in the uh, daytime NyQuil. Shoot. Okay, I'm out of Epsom salt too, dang. So I throw my Epsom salt in there. I'm gonna throw the rest of it because that's all I got. It's empty. Uh, I guess because it's the end of the year, it's time to start anew. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so I have a few different, I have a few different um, bath bombs that I like to use. I've never tried this one. Maybe I'll try this one today. But the sweet pea is my favorite. Ooh, that smells really good actually. Oh yeah, that smells nice. I like that one. I like that. Like my bathroom is gonna smell like this sweet pea for like a week. That's sweet. After I take my bath, my bathroom smells like these bath bombs for a week. And now they don't do all that extra fancy shit that other bath bombs do. They just give you like the stuff that's in it, you know? I don't even know what bath bombs are for. But I have them, so I use them when I take a bath. I put in two. You can see it fizzing. Ah, that's cute. So cute. Yeah, I really like that other one. I think I might like that one better than the sweet pea. Y'all wanna see it fizzing? It's not it's nothing special. <laughs> you see him? <laughs> it's really nothing special. They just be fizzing like that. That's it. The last two steps are the most important parts, which are the oils. 
you got to throw your essential oils in there so that your body feels nice and <clears throat> apple cider vinegar now I put a whole bunch of shit in there so you can't normally smell the apple cider vinegar because I put so many different smell goods inside the tub you know but I just put a good amount probably like a full cup yeah because vinegar I heard is really good for your vagina and ever since I started using this I've been getting so many compliments take my word or don't <laughs> okay and then I use the skin so soft by Avon I use this and I make sure I get some of that in there for show for show because this shit really do making your skin so soft <clears throat> I think I put a lot of apple cider vinegar this time so I could like smell it So I use that in the bath. I need to put some more soap in there because I could definitely smell it. I think I'll put another one of these. And when you sit in the tub, make sure you open your booty cheeks. Spread your booty cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Let, like, you know, it's been a whole month or some people, I like to do it two times a month. But recently, since I'm so busy, I only do this once. So it's been a month since water has really soaked your body. You know what I mean? Unless you go swimming and stuff like that. So really sit in there and let that shit take out all the, go inside of all the crevices and take out all the old, you know, stuff and shit. <clears throat> so that's how I'm going to take my bath. I'm going to go get my wine ready. I'm about to put on some music. I would read a book, but I don't got one right now. So <laughs> I don't have a book to read. Actually, I think I have Rich Dad Poor Dad. Do I still have that book? Someone keeps telling me I should read that. And I think I have it. So I might grab that and read it. So I got my wines over there chilling. You know, I use the Concord grape for sweetener. And then I have this other one that I bought at Walmart that I'm trying out. So that's what we on. We about to hop in the tub. When that text message came in, and I'm just like, no, no, you can't get him. No, I don't want him on the YouTube with your girlfriend. I, maybe a lot of you guys are confused about that. Let me tell you my backstory why I do not want Dominic on a YouTube channel with her girlfriend. I don't know the girl. This Damo on Chrissy shit, boy. I'm watching the video that Damo just put out. I feel guilty as hell because she was like, yeah, for YouTube, I like show people what I want to show them. And so y'all think I'm lying because I wasn't telling you the good and the bad parts. And, you know, I really feel guilty on this because I feel like that's how all couples are on YouTube. And even like friendships. Like, I'm not going to tell you when my friend is being a bitch. Now, recently, I've been doing it. Recently, I'm like, fuck it. I ain't hiding shit. I'm just going to say it. If someone's irritating me, I'm going to say that the person's irritating me. Most of the people that I fuck with don't even watch my vlogs anyways. They will tell you, like, oh, I support you. I follow you. They don't really watch the shit. So, recently, I've been kind of talking about that type of stuff, but... This video right here, she's like, dang, I was really trying to prove y'all wrong that Chrissy loved me and Chrissy wanted to be with me, but that's not the case. And just, I, I mean, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't ever want to hop on nobody's side. I mean, I don't fuck with Chrissy just because of how quick she got into a relationship after her breakup. Nobody gets into a relationship that quick. You know what I mean? Unless they need to be underneath somebody and... If that's the case, then I don't think that shit's going to last. Because you don't know. It, it's a possibility it can. But the odds are very slim. Because you don't know that person. You don't know how they're going to act when they're mad. You don't know how they're going to act when they're grieving. You don't know how they're going to act when they're um, sad. You don't know how. You know what I mean? You don't know a lot about a person when you first meet them. So the fact that she jumped into that relationship, either if it works out, she's known her longer than she says she has. Or... It's not going to work out. <laughs> or she'll just be lucky and it does work out. Or, you know what I mean? Or the other girl will feel guilt tripped into staying into the relationship because everybody's on their asses. So if, if, like, if it was up to me, I would tell the girl to just leave now because the longer she stays, the harder it's going to be for her to leave. The Mila girl. But I feel like Mila is staying because um Chrissy is probably telling her like yeah I know you want to leave because of all this stuff but blah, 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 blah. you don't know what's going on behind the closed doors so even though Chrissy's showing you all these happy moments it's not always happy trust me 
I don't think that girl Mila wants to be with Chrissy. And Chrissy's money is going to run out soon. At the end of the day, nobody really fucks with Chrissy. Her personality is not that good. Um, she probably, she doesn't know how to edit videos. She doesn't, like YouTube was Damo's thing, you know? And Chrissy kind of came into it. So for me looking at it, I'm just like, you about to fuck up everything because you're young and you cannot understand that she should just shut the fuck up and be cool about things. She on here lying like, oh, I don't, I don't have Damo around Mila. But then you hear Mila in the background of videos and it's just like, yeah, I've been following this Damo and Chrissy shit because I've been following them since they first started dating when they were on Facebook posting pictures. That's when I first saw them. So yeah, y'all probably don't know that I follow their, their situation, but I even said it when they broke up. I was like, some shit has been going on behind closed doors that we don't know about. The fact that Christy was crying so much to me, when I was telling my friends, I was like, those tears that Christy is crying are tears of joy. She's not crying because she's sad because Damo was chill about it, but Damo was hurt. You could tell she was hurt, but she wasn't crying about it. I was like, the only reason why this girl's crying so hard in the video because she's so excited she's getting out of this relationship. But anyways, I'm about to finish watching this video. I'm corn rolling my hair. I had four big old braids that I just did quickly because I was going to Dallas. So now I'm just like sectioning them so that they can be smaller and flatter because I kind of want to play in that wig that I got <laughs> from White Wigs. So I'm trying to make my wig, I'm trying to make my braids flatter. So I'm going to turn them into four braids. There's still going to be four braids, but I'm going to cut the front halves, the front of the two front. I'm going to cut the front of the two braids in the middle in half. So it'll be two braids and then I'll connect them at the back. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, six braids. <laughs> and mind you, I'm a little tipsy. I'm sorry if you noticed, but if you didn't notice, then just kidding. I'm not tipsy at all. <laughs> So I just had a like mini panic attack or it could have been a major panic attack. My nose is still running from it. <laughs> um, I'm editing the vlog, vlog number four, vlogmas number four. Um, vlogmas number four, so four out of 12, if you guys can find that. And my mom in the video says, well, if somebody, she's like, she said, she used the word tingle. If you could find someone just to tingle with. So at this point, she's even dropping her morals for me. She said, as a matter of fact, at this point, if you could just go and fuck somebody <laughs> and get pregnant so I can have grandchildren, it's pretty much what she said. And then I thought it was funny when she said that, like, no, I'm not about to just tingle with someone so you can have grandchildren, you know? Then she said, because... If I don't see my grandchildren by now, then I definitely ain't going to see my grandchildren, my great grandchildren. And when she said it, I thought it was funny and I was probably laughing in the vlog. I haven't, I couldn't even go past that part in editing because I just started bawling my eyes out crying because my mom is my favorite person in the world. I don't want you guys to cry. So I'm going to try not to cry on camera. It kind of just put in. It just kind of put into reality the fact that my mom was pretty old. On December 28th, she's going to be turning 62. <laughs> that's, a, oh, that's old. And even though she doesn't look old, she doesn't act old. Just that statement that she said, if you don't give me no grandbabies by now, I ain't going to see my grandbaby, my great grandbabies. It really just fucking ripped my heart out my chest and was like, bitch, give me a baby. <laughs> Give me a baby. <laughs> like, what? Why would you say that to me, mom? <laughs> yeah, I thought I stopped crying. <laughs> I guess not. That shit's scary. A lot of people, my mom had us pretty late. Um, you know what I mean? She wasn't like in a rush to have kids either. And then even the situation that she ended up getting into was tragic. <sighs> so at the end of the day, I feel like we're the type of women in my family that don't like tragic situations. We don't like to be in situations where we look stupid and people are manipulated and um, made look made to look like a fool. But at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of women go through that and they do end up looking like a fool and they do end up being manipulated, blah, 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 blah. And they just stay there and they stick it out because they have a family. I don't know if that's in my blood in order to do that, but... It's really freaking me out because I know today, the, as we speak, 
I've never met the man that's going to give me my children. I haven't met him yet. <laughs> Not yet. And if I have met him, he hasn't proven himself to me yet, you know? So he could probably be he could probably be in my life right now, but he definitely hasn't proven to be my baby's father yet. No. 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 Okay. Oh no. But that really got me in my feelings because I'm like really feeling bad. Like, okay, I can have a child at the same age my mom had a child. I think she had me at like 35. How old am I? 26. She's uh, she probably had she was pregnant with me at 35. Okay, she started having kids at like 29. So to me, I'm just like, you could do everything right and it could still turn out wrong. You know what I mean? And I feel like if it wasn't for us, the kids that she did have. She probably would, I don't know where my mom would be. So maybe kids aren't that much of a burden, a burden, but more of a blessing. I just don't know. I feel really bad. I want to give my mommy grandbabies. I'm going to go adopt some kids, you guys. <laughs> my life. Oh my God. I wasted so much time. Like, I feel like I've wasted so much time. Like, I was not guided the right way to know what I need to do and get done before a certain age in order to, you know? I don't know. I'm feeling very lost right now. <laughs> Just based off of those few words that my mom gave me. It's fucked up. That's fucked up, mom. You don't probably don't even know how much you just fucked me up with those words. But you fucked me up, man. So yeah, on that note, I need to take a nap. I need to go to sleep. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I'm just going to call it a, I'm going to call it a night now. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I love y'all. I'll edit this video tomorrow morning because right now I can't. My heart won't let me <laughs> because I've been drinking. And you know, when you start drinking wine and stuff like that, your emotions really start fucking with you. We're going to talk in the morning. Okay, love you guys. Go out and do wonderful things in the world. I haven't really been saying that in the vlogs, but I don't think that's a vlog thing. But y'all know better. If you want my vlog channel, you know you're supposed to be going out to do wonderful things in the world. I love you guys. Now give me a kiss. Bye. I just had to bring it from the other channel and put it here so you guys can feel more familiar. <laughs> you know? <laughs>